What's up guys? Hello, hello. Howdy fellers. Welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. So finally, I'm gonna go ahead and do a main story mission. Hello, Uncle. Bless you back. Giving me terrible pain. Oh yeah. Lucky I wasn't smoked through. Okay. Uh, you'll recover. And real quick, then. I'm glad we saved you, Uncle, from the Skinner brothers. Good. Well, you take care now. Alright, let's do this mission with Abigail. Maybe for Abigail, I don't know. Hello. So you happy? I think so. <laughs> and I did good? You did good. So... <laughs> am I forgiven? <laughs> Never. <sighs> you are a hard woman. <laughs> Ma! Pa! Come out here! Sadie, <laughs> you're alive! John, it's... Sadie Adler. <laughs> well, how'd you know she was... We... I'm... Sorry, I you thought I... You look well. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter. Bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, uh, he ain't looking for that kind of work. I took on a lot of debt when we bought this place. And you're working for her to pay it off? Yes, sometimes I was. But I thought we said no more of that. No, you said that. What else am I going to do? I'm a goddamn man. It's legal work, Abigail. And I never got killed. It's hunting down fools for the government. Easy. Even Jack could do it. Don't you put those stupid ideas in the boy's head. He's going to do something better than this. Like what? Writing silly stories? I'm sorry, Abigail. Really, I am. I just thought if you wanted to earn some money... How many times do I got to bury you, John Marston? Never. You ain't never burying me. It's legal work that I can handle. There's a... There's something else. Micah? Bounty hunting is one thing, but goddamn Micah? I heard he was up country, or some fellow who sounded just like him. Killed a family. Bar a little girl who escaped. Leave Micah alone. Listen, I'm sorry, Abigail. I came by because I was riding by chasing a fella, and I thought John wanted to earn some extra money. What is it? Abigail, we need the money. Some fella robbed his business. You know, an accountant or something. Came down from Rhodes, I believe. How much does it pay? It pays good. You know, the soft ones usually do. Okay, then. I guess. But Micah? No. All right. John Marston, let's go. Just you bring him back to me. You hear? Of course. Interesting. So Sadie's talking about Micah. It's all right. I know Abigail's worried, but... Uh, I was just there in the previous video. Finished off uh, the last leader of the Skinners. It's nice that you stop by and see the place. Yeah. Finally. Abigail's back with the boy. You must be so pleased, John. And the ranch? You were right. It's really something. I think I'm gonna ask her to uh, marry me. I got a ring. It was. It was Arthur's. I found it in a bundle of things that I've kept. You're marrying Abigail. Or it, asking her, at least. Oh, my. I never took you for a romantic. No, me neither. But <laughs> it's something I've thought about. And I, I think I know I want it. OK. I guess I thought you were married already. Long ago. 
No, not really. Not officially. Well, I'm real happy for you, Joan. Being married, it made me real happy. Okay. Okay, so there's no more conversation. So yeah, um, if you guys were Abigail, what would what would you do? Would you stop John for going after Micah, or would you, or would you uh, you know, let him let him kill Micah? Because I understand Abigail's point of view. Yep, I have been. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, so, um, as I was saying, uh, I understand Abigail's point of view by telling us not to go after Micah, not telling John, but you also gotta understand John's point of view, why he wants, why he wants to look at, to look, you know, for Micah, because it makes sense, think about it. Micah was the reason why the gang disbanded. Just I'm just preparing, just in case. This, this looks what? Looks like a bear. Something came through here. A bear? Nah, no way. In quite a hurry. We can track him. I'm already here. tracking him, Sadie. Charles taught me how to hunt. From the south, whoever he is. Uh huh. And Maybe he's our man. If he ain't become some bear's lunch. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they went this way. I already already on it, Sadie. Bear. Both of them. Wait, we need to hop on our horse? Okay. I thought we I thought we were supposed to go on foot. Alright, horsey. Come on. I mean I already tracked him using uh, Let's find him. using uh okay. eagle eagle Think eye or eagle vision. Follow me. Uh, it's over here. It's following the tracks right now. Oh, where is it? I see it. Okay. See the tracks. I think it leads somewhere. It has to lead somewhere, right? Okay, I still see it. Okay, I still see it. Follow me, Sadie. Turn left over here. Turn left. <laughs> In a hundred meters, a turn right. Okay, I think we found the place. Must be the place, right? Change my camera then. All right, he has to be here. This uh, guy that we're hunting down has to be. Looks like. Hold on. Looks like the trail doesn't end. Actually, we actually go to the corpse with Sadie. Oh my god, didn't even see that guy. Oh my days. Looks more like a local farmer to me. I don't know what's left of one. Is it gone? You, Marshal Thurwell? That I am, ma'am. I'm here to arrest you on behalf of the state of Lemoyne. You're wanted for theft, fraud, and avoiding arrest. Is the monster still out there? No, I think he's gone. Come out! Come on. Go shoot. Keep walking. <laughs> Come on. I'm coming. Look out! Oh my god. John? Woo! Oh my goodness. Yo, yo, yo. Sadie, I need your help. Ah! Yo, that's crazy. I think he's gone. Oh, fucking monster. Thurwell! Get out here! Before I come in there, I'll kill you myself! I, I, I'm coming. Pathetic. Waiting to see if that animal ate us? No, ma'am. That weren't it. Yes, it were. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Sadie bitch slapped him. Call yourself a man. 
Well, My hat. It's like Abigail says. That's wonderful for you. Sadie, I nearly got killed. I'm glad she saved us in a way. But I handled myself pretty well there. Hey, my hat! I can't believe we didn't kill that bastard. Hold on. Hold on. My hat, Sadie. Relax. I know I can get it from my horse, but, you know, I'm not lazy. I'm picking it up. Gave him something to remember us by, at least. Gave me a few more scars than I already have, Sadie. I have. <laughs> John's a badass. He got clawed by a bear. Imagine that. And he's still standing. Look at him. That's fine. <laughs> well, speaking of. Did you see that dog? That dog was on the air. That that black bear I killed, I think. I think the, I think I killed that bear in the last episode. That black bear. Okay, Sadie. Uh huh. Yeah. Fair enough. Those are fine new clothes, by the way. <laughs> What's this about? What's this about? Are you Sadie Edelman? Bounty owner? Get off the road! Look, I got great respect for your profession, but if that's Marshall Thorough there, uh -huh. uh, me and my partner would like to split Why would you split the reward when you did nothing? What? Get off the road! Exactly. We were thinking you might need protection. I look like I need protection. Uh, me and my partner, we're dead sound splitting that Oh, uh, we ain't splitting, Fred. You did nothing. Hey, 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 hey. You better not touch Sadie. Oh, Sadie already killed him. Can we go now? We're fine, Sadie. You don't mess around, do you? Of course go. I don't. They were about to shoot you. They were about to shoot you, Sadie. That's why I wasn't... The yeah, that's why I was not missing around. I was like, he was about to pull out his gun and already pulled out mine. Business, it? it definitely yeah. is. It does require a certain level of detachment. You ever think if it's right? No. I just see orders on the wall. And I try and fill them. And if there's other bastards after the same orders as I am, I get competitive. It's called industry. And if you ain't noticed, Everyone is out there doing it. I guess they are. Uh, you said earlier you knew something about Mike. Yeah, what's it about? You want to hear it? You know? Are you sure you want to hear about him? Ain't all that back at your ranch enough? If I find him, I will handle it. Your bounties or transport work? That's your decision to bring me along or not. But, but Micah, that's something we, well, I, I gotta do. With or without you, Sadie. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. I know. Well, I'm hearing things. A lot of things. Still, mostly just whispers, but I think you might be pretty close. When you hear something real, you bring it to me. Okay, I'll bring it to you. But you, looking you think trouble? about if this is what you really want. Everything you can get, and everything you could lose. I know, Sadie, I know. Here, put him down. Go on, get home to your wife. I'll let you know if I hear anything about Micah. You need a hand taking him in? Him? <laughs> no, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah, I'll send your share to the bank when I get paid. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so we 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 uh we repaid the debt at least. Some of the debt. Shoot the bear four times as he charges. Headshot both the rival bounty hunters and dead eye. I wasn't able to, but it's okay. Alright. 
Now, I know all about this other mission. Sadie's horse is still here. I wonder if Sadie's here if we check around. Is she still gonna be in this place? Is she gonna be here? Ah, uh, it makes sense. It's locked. And now her horse is not here anymore. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Sadie all of a sudden teleporting. Okay. My bad. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I know what we're what's gonna happen in the next oh sorry in this next mission. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a hint on this next part. Um I'm actually no not this one. I'm actually going to uh yeah. Going to clean John up. Cause you know, there's a little mini mini spoiler I guess of it already. Cause John is asking John told Sadie that he's gonna marry Abigail. So yeah, we're gonna clean John up because uh, he is uh, gonna marry Abigail, I think, in the next mission. So yeah, we're gonna do one of the most wholesome missions in the game. We're definitely at the end game of Red Dead 2, that's for sure. Oh, looking for a trim? Yes, my friend. Only a trim or something fancy? Uh, trim all the facial hairs, bruh. All of it. Yep, make John look as clean as he can. Mighty fine if I do say so. Yeah, thank you, friend. Now, uh, here again. Make my hair pomade, pomade, I guess. That that could be arranged, right? Okay, so this is my hair, right? Let's buy this one. And then make my hair like this. Pomid. There we go. Now we're clean. Okay. Thank you, mister. You didn't even touch me, but I have a, I have All new right. hair now. Ready to go. <laughs> okay. Thanks, mister. Sorry, friend. Where could we take a bath, actually? In this game. Before we go to Abigail. You're going to ask Abigail to marry us now? Um... Cause I don't see anything in black, black water. Maybe we can do it in the saloon. Actually, I just realized. Why did I put a waypoint there? <laughs> That's stupid. The saloon's literally like right there on the other side here. All right. Maybe we can uh, take a bath here. I don't know. Be safe now, horsey. Okay. Sorry. Can I... So, uh, what's it be? There we go. Want to take a bath, friend. Great. Whenever you're ready, uh, go on over. We'll Where is it? Fresh water boiled up for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Is it over here? Oh, it's here. Okay. Let me go ahead and clean John up. And I'm not going to accept the deluxe bath this time, obviously. I'm going to marry Abigail. I'm not going to do anything stupid. <laughs> Just gonna clean myself up. I think John looks better actually with a beard on. Nope, no thank you. Uh, no, I'm all right. Maybe next time. <laughs> Alright. Don't need you though. Alright. Okay. So I think John looks better with the beard on actually. I think Arthur looks better without a beard on, or just a little bit of a beard to be honest. I think John looks better without a uh, with a beard, actually. But I guess I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind clean shaven in it. I guess it's fine. But I prefer John's looks when he has a beard. I guess. All right. All right, we did it. Exit bath. Our stamina is increased. That's cool. All right, it's time to marry Abigail. What is the item request for Uncle? I only got two items. Hair pomade. Nah, sorry. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, friend. But uh, that seems interesting. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's go back to Abigail. Uh, 
All right. Relax. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything. Back off, you. Relax. Okay. That's final. That's probably the final bounty hunting mission for Sadie. I think it is. So yeah. Got attacked by a bear. We nearly got killed by a damn bear. But I already shot it a few times and stabbed it a few times, and Sadie also helped us in a way. She she shot it as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this mission. I'm pretty sure this mission is all about John and Abigail marrying each other, or John asking Abigail. That's why I already cleaned up John as a mini spoiler. So yeah. So Arthur gave Mary a ring when he was younger. And Mary gave it back to Arthur in chapter 6. I remember that. And I think John's gonna use that as his ring to marry Abigail. Which is kind of kind of sweet, I guess. But also sad at the same time. Knowing that Arthur wasn't able to marry Mary. Marry Mary. <laughs> Mary and Arthur wasn't able to uh, get together. But so yeah. Let's do this mission. Alright. What's going on? What's going on here? I'll tell you what, woman. Was a damn sight more peaceful round here before you came back. You're just lucky I'm a soft touch. I should sling you out by your ear. Ah, oh, you always was a cold-hearted lizard of a woman. And you always was someone willing to live off the efforts of others. It's walk or work, old man. I got lumbago. You'll have more than that in a oh, minute. Oh, John, tell her about my health. Do what the lady says. I'll work my fingers to the bone building this place, Abigail Roberts. Marston! Abigail Marston. Miss Marston to you. Miss Marston to you. Why you let him stay? He's actually been pretty useful in a useless sort of way. Who's that? No idea. Friend or foe? We'll soon find out. It's the Gettys boys. From Proghorn Ranch? Yeah. Mr. Milton! Mr. Milton! Duncan! Sir, Ma found some old furniture in the attic. Pa thought maybe you folks would want it as a housewarming present, you know? Uh, they send their regards. Uh, how kind they are. Tell your Ma and Pa we're very touched. Where would you like the furniture? Uh, just over here. <laughs> then we can arrange. This is real kind of y'all. You saved the ranch. Pa said this is the least he could do. Well, that's about everything. <laughs> Send your palm my best friend. Hey, Tell thank him. you. He's got friends for life in my family. That's, That's cool. Him. He's got friends for life. I yeah, the get the Gettys boys. That's cool. It's so kind. Yeah. Sure. I mean, we did save their ranch. I remember that. At the beginning of the epilogue. It's been ages since we spent any time together. It has. Let's go get the wagon. The wagon. Let's go. What? Since, uh, since what? Maybe not forever. Wait, hold on, Abigail. We ain't had the time, you know? We both been working. Where's my horse? I kind of want to change clothes. <laughs> John, Abigail's talking and John's not there. Hold on, Abigail. I know you want, I know you want to take the wagon, but, um, hold on. Can I get my horse first? I kind of want to change my clothes. And I think the only way to do that is to hop on my horse. So I'll be back in. <laughs> I'll be back in a few minutes, Abigail. Where's my horse at? Hello, horsey. Hold on. I'm not gonna mount my horse. Don't worry. I'm just gonna get close to it. <gasps> I'm not allowed to interact with it. I just wasted. I, I didn't. I don't like this neckwear that John is wearing. It's fine. It's whatever. All right. Look at it. Look. Look at him. We have a bunch of neckwear on us. Or we have a ne neckwear on us. That's fine. I was trying to change outfits. I should have changed outfits before, but I guess it's fine. Abigail's there 
Where, where did John go? <laughs> He's like, where, where are you off to? All right, let's let's go and do it. I wanted to change my clothes, but uh, anyway, you were saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. All right, let's go. I'm walking slowly. What the heck? I guess uh, yeah, I can't sprint. I guess that makes sense. All right, let me hop on. Kind of sweet, I guess. All right, let's go. Imagine I just... Nah, I, I was thinking of something funny. Imagine I just throw Abigail off onto the other side. <laughs> All right. Why are we using the wagon? We can literally just do this with my horse. And, you know, so that I can change clothes because John looks stupid with that neckwear. Probably watch a movie. What do you mean? Shooting people? That's fun. <laughs> yeah, like some normal human beings do. Yeah. Portrait? Yeah, that's kind of cool. You want to stare at a portrait of yourself all day long? No. I hate to break it to you, but you ain't that much to look at. No. I want a picture of us. What? She just dissed okay. us. Okay, then. What the heck? Sure. Is there anything else you want? Uh. No. Let's just walk around. I'm hiding a ring. <laughs> Nah, uh, yeah, they'll be fine. Charles can cook. He can probably cook Uncle. Or maybe they'll cook Jack. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what that's what I was thinking about. Jack and Charles will eat Uncle. Alright, it's kind of like a wholesome mission. It's probably the most wholesome mission in the game right now. Or it probably is the most wholesome mission. It kind of reminds me of Arthur and Mary going out in San Denis. If you guys remember that. I'll just put us here. Where? Here? I guess we're fine here, right? Yeah, this, this, this is fine. Why are you being so courteous? I don't know. There you go. I'm gonna head to the drapers for a minute. Won't take long, but I need to get some materials. You wanna come with me or wait here? And after that, we can go get our photo taken? Yeah, after that, we can get our photo taken. Oh no, John, you can't stare at that gal. Oh, look at that, Arthur and Mary. Can't stare at that girl, Arthur. I mean, John. All right. There was a young girl change. that was trying to look at us. John, John did well. He ducked down and was like, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. Kind of funny. What do you mean? No, I'm not. Did you see that? A picture of young Arthur and young Mary. And with the Am ring. No. Okay. What do you mean? I can change. Wait, that's the barber. <laughs> I was just there a few minutes ago. Alright, All right, let's take a photo. What the heck? John can't get in. What's that? <laughs> Alright. Hello, madam. Sir. Hello, sir. How can I help you? We're... We'd like to get our photo taken. Oh, a photo. Yes, yes, that I can help you with. Yes. So, uh, what do we do? I'm sorry, what did, what did you want? Uh, our portrait taken. 
Oh, would we do that? Yes, wonderful. Handsome couple, quite something, but you need a background. A background? Yes, we have Niagara Falls, Paris by night. <laughs> we have Mount Vesuvius and its ruins. We have the open prairie. T take, a, take a look. Pick one. What do you think? Let's see the others. Just pull the lever there. All right. I guess I guess we could check. Okay. This is a very wholesome mission. Let's see what else we got. So this is the uh, volcano Vesuvius, I think. Vesuvius. This is pretty. Or spooky, maybe. Let's see everything. All right. I mean, it's up to you, Abigail. Whatever you want. I guess. I don't know. I don't think so. There's more. This is. Uh, this is bar. <laughs> Surely there's a photograph of you in a bar already. God damn it. This is your idea, John. It's up to you. I mean, it makes sense that. Like? It makes sense that uh, we could we should go for the this one because it looks like Beecher's home. It looks like our home. So yeah, let's let's use this one. Let's use this one. That will be simply perfect. You know, I wish I had the Congo River, but they require grass skirts. I couldn't afford them. It's just so exotic. You stay there. I'll make a pose that you feel comfortable with. What? What kind of po Oh, God damn it. I think I'd rather be cleaning the outhouse. Quiet. Be quiet. I think we're a cowboy. Poser. What? I guess we could preview photo. That's cute. Let's see, let's see. No, 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 I'm, no, 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 I meant this one. So I want... Natural, particularly you, sir. I think this one looks cool. That might be the one. Yep. That's to be this one. That looks cool. Alright. Now, give me a minute. I'm going to develop this for you. Wait here. Take your time. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Tough guy. Going slim. Excuse me? <laughs> Nothing. I didn't say anything. I just posed. Shut up. <laughs> you know, you're not very nice to me. Oh, I'm nicer than you deserve. <laughs> True. <laughs> Here came out beautifully. <gasps> sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah oh, look at that face on you. Be quiet. <laughs> what do I owe you? Five dollars. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I'll see you again. Oh yes, he'll probably come in for a pose. He seemed to enjoy himself. Shut up, Abigail. He's trying to... <laughs> I guess that's funny. Alright. What, what else do you want to do? There is one thing I hadn't done. What? I've never been to see one of them moving picture shows. Oh, you want to watch a movie? No. no. Okay. Well, come on. Let's go do that. I should, I should have taken John's hat off. Because <laughs> I... Marvel. Okay. Yeah, I, I should have taken John's uh, hat because I just had a haircut, and I used the hair pomade, pomade. But uh, yeah, that's my bad. I should have. Uh, <laughs> I should have taken the hat off. Thank you. What's playing? Something called. I don't know. Buying the tickets. Hello, friend. Okay. What's it about? It probably doesn't know. Yeah, exactly. It probably doesn't know. Okay. Let's get inside, Abigail. Thank you, Ken. John, being a gentleman. Okay.
All right. Oh, look at this. Put her on, arm run. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, come on. I tried to do this with Arthur and Mary. <laughs> Thought you might be cool. John. That's kind of cool. I remember Arthur tried to put a move on Mary and then he stopped. That's women for you. Don't you dare, John Morstan. What do you mean? But I'm watching. Please. Shh. Who's shushing us? Do you want me to shoot this place? Trying to shush us, huh? It does look real. Stop it. She's a piece of work. Like you, Abigail. I'm trying to shush us. There's only two people, three people watching with us. Four. Yeah, there's only four or six of us, I guess. Not even watching the movie. Is it over? I think so. Come on. I didn't even watch the movie. <laughs> Movie didn't really matter. What, what matters is, uh. We better get out. We never get out. The farm will be fine. Yeah, the farm is okay, Abigail. Farm. I love hearing that. Uh huh. Let's go down to the lake for a bit. The lake? Sure. Yeah, you want to go there? You're gonna drown yourself? In a manner of speaking. Oh, yeah, John yes, can't swim. <laughs> Happily so. <laughs> Oh, I'm not. Relax. You're a silly man, John Marston. What, a, what about Jim Milton? Oh, he's even worse. Let me help you in. <laughs> like I said. Alright, guys, it's time to finish the mission. It's time to kill Abigail. <laughs> what a plot twist that would be. Alright, it's time to finish the mission, boys. Take out Abigail and take the farm all for ourselves. Take out Uncle, take out Charles, take out Jack. But we start with Abigail. <laughs> imagine, imagine we kill Abigail. That's the plot twist. <laughs> That'd be insane. <laughs> Alright, Abigail, it's time to throw you off. <laughs> That'd be insane. It is. All right, all right. What are we gonna do now? We're here. What is it? Okay, here we go. Propose. All right. You. Will you marry me? <laughs> Get up! I am married to you. No, I mean proper, in front of God. You serious? I got this ring. I've had it for a long time. Take it. You serious? It would make me very happy if you would... We've lived a lot of lives. Let's just live this one from now on. You and me, Jack, a family, by law. John, I, I never... I didn't know it mattered to me. It didn't. But now it does. If you think this is dumb, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut up, you silly man, and kiss me. <laughs> Hey, come on. That is so wholesome. Probably the most wholesome mission in, in the entire game. That is absolutely cool. Okay.
Damn. Sunrise. What a beautiful game, honestly. And it's it kind of is making me sad that we're about to finish the game now. But, uh, you know, it's worth it. 70 plus videos. It is very worth it. Alright, a new future imagined. Now, how did I get bronze here? Oh, it's just a time thing. Okay. I don't really care. Alright, so, uh... That'll do it for now, guys. In the next video, we will do the final mission. The very final mission. Final main story mission of Red Dead 2. So, yeah. Uh, see you guys in a bit. Bye now.